Wang Yinyak, an old man from the Joseon era, was well known for his wisdom and accuracy. He was a renowned political strategist and military leader who played a major role in Korea's independence. Wang was born in 1541 and lived until 1650, making him one of Korea's oldest known historical figures. As an elder, Wang was highly respected by the people and was seen as a mentor by the nation's officials. He was responsible for designing the ironclad turtle ships that helped defend Korea during the Japanese invasions. Wang was also a skilled diplomat who contributed to the cultural exchange between Korea and Japan. During his time, Wang wrote the classic novel about the historical events of the time, called The True Records of the Old Man. His legacy lives on today, with many aspects of his work still being praised and used for inspiration. Through his career, Wang made a lasting impression on the country by reinforcing its principles of rule and power. Wang's keen sense of justice and national duty allowed him to be a leader in wartime tactics and political tactics. He made his mark in history by serving the King of Joseon with loyalty and distinction. He even worked with Chinese envoy to help negotiate a trade agreement with Japan. For his military achievements, Wang was rewarded with titles such as General of the Right and General of Siseong Fortress. Wang also served as a Prime Minister to King Myong Jong, playing roles at court such as advisor and strategist. Wang helped set in motion the cultural exchange between the two countries, setting a precedent that continues to be followed today. His strategy manual, The Art of War, is still a major source of inspiration for military tacticians. Wang was also a founder of the Dongmun Philosophical School, and his influence spread far beyond the Korean Peninsula. He even served in the army on the front lines, showing his commitment to his country. People revered Wang for his leadership, wisdom, and dedication, making him a national symbol of courage. During his long life, Wang wrote several classics, such as Great Protean Tale of the Three Kingdoms, which served as early risings of the eulogy tale. He also contributed to the rise of the Chinese characters, which had been adopted by the Joseon government to be used for official documents. Huang's personal life had ups and downs, and he had to experience some tragedies. He lost a close family member during the war and his first wife who passed away due to an illness. Despite all this misfortune, Wang persevered through all obstacles and continued his great contributions to Korea. He was highly respected by the public and would often take up the task of settling disputes between members of society.